Hey everybody, Jeff Schneider here. Here's loop of the day number 13. This one's a little bit different. Let's see if we can figure out how. All right, there it is. Let's do a breakdown. Not much going on here harmonically. We're just kind of jamming out on D7. Uh, you got a funky bass line, starting it off at the bass here. I almost forgot, we didn't talk about why this one's different from all the other ones. Well, the answer is it's, it's all uh, real instruments, no virtual instruments in this one. I'm using plugins and you know all that, all that stuff, but in terms of the actual instruments themselves, it's all uh, live. So uh, I had to throw together a drum set uh, out of some weird parts. I don't have a full kit here. Um, I used a snare drum, a hi-hat with a broken clutch and a cajon to kind of give me a, a bass uh, or a kick. So this, this is what the drums sound like. It sounds a little rink-a-dink, but it kind of goes with the, uh, the funky style. Here's the cajon part, check this out. This is my faux kick drum. So uh, one of the things that I really relied on to make this work, especially since I don't have like a huge amount of mics, I had a lot of room sound in, uh, in all, this drum, all these drum tracks. So I used this plugin called Transient Master to really cut down on the sustain. Uh, so that it, it got rid of a lot of the room sound. That helped a lot to get some impact, and I also could bump up the attack there. That was very helpful. And then for the cajon, I used this native logic plugin called uh, Sub Bass, and it just kind of give, gives the, the thing some low end, some artificial low end that I think it really worked. Check it out. Here's with the, um, here's just the cajon. And I'll turn off the transient master and the sub bass. All right, here's the sub bass. And the transit master. Do you hear how that thing, that transit master really cleans up the sound? It gets rid of a lot of that room sound, um, which granted I probably amplified with my compressor, but uh, in the end, I think it all worked out. I use the same, uh, same thing on the drum kit. This is with the uh, transit master off, with it on. Really makes a big difference, actually. Um, let's keep going here. What else is happening? We've got uh, we've got the guitars here, real guitar. This is doubling the bass part. I'll play it with the bass. I should actually loop all four measures here. Here it is again. Yeah, and then uh, we got this other guitar part just kind of grooving on a D. pretty much all that's going on there. And my lead in the next set of four measures, we got a, a guitar and saxophone duo here playing this, uh, this lead line. There's the, uh, there's the lead line, and when you put it all together, oh, wait, we have to do the clapping. Here's the clapping. A lot of clapping tracks. Here we go. Uh, 
All right, there you go. That's the clap track. And then when you put it all together, you get this. All right, so so that's the uh, that's the loop. Uh, it was fun to do it with real instruments. Did you guys like it with the real uh, the real instruments? Did it make a difference, or is it just as good with uh, virtual instruments? Or maybe a combination of the two would be interesting. But um, yeah, for this one, it was completely live, and it does give it a more organic sound. It's a little bit messier, so I had to do a bit more work with the mix. But uh, I think in the end, it came out okay. So I uh, would love to hear what you guys think. If you have any questions about the mixing or the lines themselves, feel free to leave a comment below. Um, if you like this one, feel free to hit the like button. And if this is your first time here and you haven't subscribed, or if you just haven't subscribed, feel free to subscribe. We'd love to have you uh, be notified when new uh, videos come out. And we're getting really close to 100K here for the subscribers. I'm going to have to do something special for when, uh, when we hit that 100K mark. But um, thank you guys for being so, uh, so good to me and good to this channel and supporting me. It means so much. I'm so glad you guys have found this content valuable enough that you're coming back again and again. Um, so with that, as always, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.